Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a really long time since I've actually sat down and filmed a video for you guys. Um, I don't really know why, I don't really have an excuse. I just have been kind of busy, I suppose that's an excuse. But last night I was at the launch of the Kaylee MUA Sosu palette, brushes, lashes, all the collection. Um, the party was last night, it was really good. I have my palette here. So cute. I actually got my name on it as well. There was a girl there and she was like doing all that um oh my god, what do you call it? Calligraphy. Jesus, couldn't remember that. Um yeah, so I'm gonna give you some swatches of the palette. I'm gonna do a look with the palette. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like one eye one look and one eye the other look just to show you the versatility of this palette. Um you can also see my hair is really long. I have my easy locks clip in extensions in. I feel very glamorous, you know. I think what we'll do first is do some swatches of the palette so you can see. I should probably open it so you guys can actually see all the colours. It's actually really, really beautiful. Like, especially from a makeup artist perspective, I actually think it's a really perfect palette because you have a bit of everything in it. So yeah, I'm going to start with swatches and then we will go into the look. I probably should have worn a t-shirt for this, but I'll pull the sleeves up. Oh. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to swatch is going to be Veil. I find like white eyeshadows are actually quite hard to get, especially to get a good one. You can see, I know that like, the, it's very white all here, but you can even see like against the white, it still looks white. I like that. Mm. Okay, the next one is, I feel like I'm going to pronounce some of these wrong because this writing is so fancy. Is it it's Savior, I think? <laughs> This colour here, a colour that I really would definitely wear all the time. These swatches are very wonky. Hold on a second, I'm gonna get that a little bit better. Okay, I love that. Definitely love that. Then I'm gonna now swatch 1996. I'm assuming that's the year Katie was born. This gorgeous shimmery goldy bronzy colour. I think it is. I think she's a year younger than me. I was born in 95, so. My arm is so awkward, I can't like turn it properly. You can see that there, that's really nice. Then I'm gonna swatch this shade here, which is called Proffery. Kaylee, don't kill me for pronouncing these wrong. <laughs> so, we'll go with that there. It's a nice kind of deep brown. Kind of like a real chocolatey brown color. Gorge. So far, these are like my dream colors to be honest. Then I'm gonna swatch this one here. Our aura, aura. Probably sounds so stupid trying to pronounce all these names. Swatch. Oh, I love this. Look how glittery that is. I hope you can actually see this on the camera how glittery it really is. But like, wow. Next up is the shade Faith, which is this like bright yellow. And I feel like this color can like really be terrifying to people if like you're not used to using those kind of colours but like I find a yellow really handy to have. It's not as intimidating when you actually put it on the skin, you know. These swatches are going very wonky, I feel. Okay, I love this colour, Unruly. I love, love, love this colour. Definitely a colour that I would always wear. Oh yeah. That is gorge big fan of that. Then we have Oat which is like a deep kind of brown shade. Always really handy to have if you're doing your smoky eyes, you know. Gorge. You have Majesty which again I love this as well. I love all them orangey kind of colours. Majesty is like this beautiful burnt orange. Adore. Love that one too. I actually love all these colours. We have Myth which is like a sparkly purple. Oh yeah, I love that one. So much you could do with that. I feel like if you wet that as well, it would come out even more amazing. Freedom, which is a dark matte purple. Chaos. I really like this colour. I feel like this is one of those colours. I haven't actually swatched this yet. I feel like this is one of those colours that it looks green, but it's also going to look purple if you like move it to a certain... Fab. I absolutely adore this. Are you? It's a nice freaking pink. Which you can't really go wrong with. 
it's so handy to have that. I'm kind of running out of arm space here. It's a nice sparkly pink one. Sacred Fire, which is like a ready, like a red kind of color. Be nice. And a little bit here. Love. Like that is a color that like, I think eyeshadow palettes lack. Of Sacrifice, which again is like a deep kind of cool tone purple. Love that. And then the last one we have is Sin, which is of course a matte black. I'm literally <laughs> working my way right down. Okay, so these are all the colors. I mean, you get the vibe, you know? These colors are amazing, like definitely like a palette that I would reach to and I feel like I am gonna use this a lot because it's like perf, you know, yourself. So I think now I'm gonna wash my arm and get into doing up my face. Wow, fab. So I just put a little bit of concealer on my lids and I'm gonna start with this eye first. And I think with this eye, we're gonna make it kind of, let's do it like pinky purple. And then I'll do this eye like the brownie shades. So I'm gonna start off with, let me see what shade did I start with first. Mm, let's use the shade Freedom, which is this purple one. And I'm just going to go in with a small little blending brush. I'm just going to start to blend this into the crease. So just literally really, really, really lightly just blending this out. Just taking a bit of the shade Unruly, which is that like kind of purpley shade. And I'm just going to blend that on top. It's like a real plummy colour. I'm literally just buffing this out now and then just taking a clean blending brush I'm literally just gonna buff that out on top just so it's like really seamless back in with that first purple shade and I'm just patting this in the outer corner just to deepen it up and then again just gonna blend that out keeping it nice and smoky I'm just swapping brushes. I'm literally just taking like clean brushes just to blend out the edges, just so it's really, really smooth. Like how gorgeous are them colors? And they're so pigmented as well, which is fab. So funny, my two eyes are completely different shapes. Like you can see like this one is like way more deep set and this one is a bit more hooded. It's kind of weird. So like I actually have to do my eyes slightly different. I feel like everyone has eyes that are like kind of different. That one's totally perfect. So I'm now bringing the colour in a little bit because I think I'm going to make this like a spotlight eye. I just decided. So just taking my little tiny brush and I'm just going to smoke that out. I actually need to get Katie's brushes to try them as well. I only managed to grab the palette while I was there last night but I need to get the brushes too. Just taking just like a concealer. You can use any concealer. This is a NARS one. And I'm just gonna make this into like a spotlight kind of an eye. I'm basically just like cutting this and then I'll like fill it in with some pigments. Then I've just cut that with some concealer. I'm gonna take that really nice kind of like sparkly color here. This one here, which is called Myth. And we're just gonna put that right in the middle. that it's so sparkly I'm just gonna literally press this on top just out of curiosity I'm gonna spray some fix plus on this just to see if it makes a difference with the pigment if it makes it come out even more like I mean it's gorgeous as is but let's just see what happens when it's a little bit more wet oh yes look at that see this is why I love fix plus it just like transforms the colors, makes them more, even better. That is fab. I'm gonna take a little brush. I'm just kind of blend out the edges. Just so it's like really smooth and blended and stuff. Right, so that's that blended out now. Fab, I'm gonna add some liner just to define my lid a little bit. I'm just using a little liquid liner. And I'm just literally gonna just draw a line 
I'm just taking the shade Sacrifice and I'm literally just like smoking out the edges just to make it a little bit darker. Darken the edges. Whoa, that's a really nice black. I feel like black is like a really hard shade to get right, but like, wow. That's so nice, it's so black. Another thing I wanna say is as well, which I think is really impressive, there's literally no shadow that fell down at all. And like that normally happens to me all the time. Like I really didn't have to wipe anything off. It's just so good. Uh, I'm gonna just put some liner in my waterline and then stick a lash on and then we'll move on to this side. Lash always just completes the look so much. Like it's, I think it's so important to wear a good lash. So I'll pop that on now. Wow. Go with the vanity lashes. It's time to do this eye. So I'm gonna do this like brown and smoky because I feel like why not? But I'm gonna incorporate some of the kind of like orange and maybe even the yellow. Who knows? Okay, let's start with the shade Majesty, which is this kind of burnt orange color because I feel like I like this color a lot. So I'm just gonna start by kind of smoking this into my crease. And I'm gonna go in with the bright yellow just because why not it's sitting there let's use it and I'm just gonna like kind of just put this on top like I know it looks bright yellow but it's not gonna come out like crazy it goes like yellows go beautiful with like a brown smoky eye you can incorporate that in really well I used to do that a lot years ago I actually haven't really used yellow in a long long time but I really do like it I'm gonna take that red color and we're just gonna work this Slightly under the orange. I'm gonna take the brown shade called Prophery. Prophery. And I'm gonna just use this to deepen up the crease a little bit and around the edges just to make this a bit darker and a little bit more brown. And I'm just gonna deepen it up. I'm gonna take that color out. And just again make it a little bit darker around the edges all about just going back and blending these out like taking like taking your time with it just being really gentle and just getting that really good blend on this side the exact same way I did for the purple one then we're gonna go in with the gold just over this okay so we taken the shade 1996 and we're gonna just pop this on top I want my eyes to be shining. Okay, and now that the gold is on, I did my liner and I'm just doing a bit of black again, just on the very outer corners. Okay, so I went and did the rest of my face. And now I'm just gonna finish off the eyes by literally just smoking out underneath really, really quickly. So, where's my palette? I'm gonna just take the black shade, Sin, and we're gonna just run this like really closely underneath the lash line just to start the smoky process taking the shade unruly I'm just gonna put this right underneath the black so it's basically just taking the like outer corner from here and just blending it right under here this side we are taking the shade sacred fire The last step for the eyes is just to do some highlight in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take a mix of Myth and Aura, which is like the slightly bluey one, just to change it up. I'm gonna mix them together. And we're just gonna pop some of this in the very inner corner. For this eye, I'm just gonna take like my normal highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. And I'm just gonna pop that in the middle because there isn't really a color in the palette that I think will go well with this. I think if I put the gold, it might be too gold. Okay, so this is the finished look using the Kaylee by So Sue palette. Oh my God. Oh, poke me in the eye. Sorry, a bit of dust went in my eye there. So this is the finished look. I am honest to God, like so impressed with this palette. Like not even just saying that, like none of the shadow fell down. The pigment is insane. Like the payoff you get is so, so good. I'm. Honestly, like this is gonna be, I think, one of my new, my new holy grail, my new Bible, if you will, lol, get it? I'm so impressed. 
go Kaylee, go Sue, because this is so good. You know, you gotta support your other Irish gals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to film anything else, let me know. Come follow me on Instagram and Twitter, um, where I post loads of different looks, and you will see the final photo of this look on my Instagram, and probably on my Twitter too. Yeah, and also don't forget to go and follow Kaylee if you aren't already, I'm sure you are. If you're from Ireland and you're into makeup, I'm sure you've heard of her. She's incredible. Um, yeah, so, this is it. This is the end of the video. I get so awkward. I never know how to end my videos. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye.